Hey guys, welcome to Introductory Fluid Mechanics. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the topics that will be covered in this video series. This course is a prequel to the second core fluids course, which most of you will do in the first semester of third year. So we're going to introduce some of the fundamental equations of fluid mechanics with a big emphasis on Bernoulli's equation. So you'll be looking at Bernoulli's equation quite a bit. There's a lot of assumptions made in deriving the equations that you will use in this course. Most of these assumptions are revealed and explained in the second fluids course. So introducing our first broad topic is stationary fluids. So we'll be looking at fluids that do not move. Um, so first one is looking at pressure in stationary fluids. Um, basic fluid properties include things like viscosity, specific weight, and specific gravity. We're going to take a look at hydrostatics. Uh, so we'll touch on pressure variations in sta stationary fluids, um, and we'll incorporate several pressure measuring devices such as the manometer. Second is forces. Um, so forces on submerged surfaces in static fluids. Um, this is the force that stationary fluids impart on a surface, and we'll see uh, that these forces can be quite large. Um, buoyancy, we're going to find out what exactly makes something sink or float, and we'll relate that to stability, which is dependent on density. Next, looking at dynamic fluids, we'll look at accelerating fluids, how fluids react when accelerated, and we'll see that the fluid surface changes slope when you accelerate a fluid. Um, for conservation of energy, we'll be focusing on Bernoulli's equation. It can be thought of in different ways, but relates pressure, velocity, and head along a streamline. For conservation of mass, we're going to be looking at system and control volume approaches. Uh, that's observing the flow of a collection of fluid particles versus observing the flow through a control volume. We'll see it's much more convenient to consider the latter Eulerian approach. And for Reynolds transport theorem, uh, that will enable us to find an equation for the conservation of mass. So for the conservation of linear momentum, we're going to be using Reynolds transport theorem again, uh, but we're going to be looking at linear mom momentum, so incorporating forces into that, um, and we'll see what forces a flow can impart. So once we've